It's been a minute and you're at Poppy's place. Welcome, come right in. It's good to see you. I, I don't know if it's OCD, ADHD, LMNOP, maybe I'm a, on the spectrum, I, I don't know. But I will tell you this, I tend to have um, these little spurts of things where I, I like to, you know, try stuff out, give it a little, you know what I mean? And so like, it will be a summer, like an entire summer of like one thing. Like I remember one summer I did the summer of pound cake and I was searching for the best pound cake. I wound up back with my grandma's pound cake. It was no, you know, no fix in that. But um, I remember there was mojito summer, there was sangria summer. And this summer I can already tell you is gonna be the summer of coconut cookies. I am on a quest to come up with the perfect coconut cookie recipe. So I would love to tell you that this recipe is gonna be fabulous. It's gonna be the best thing you ever ate. I don't know. I'm going with my basic cookie recipe, the one that I use all the time, and I'm just kind of making it a little different, changing it up, fixing it up, doing a little different thing with it. Just trying to change it up and get the absolute best recipe that I can get. That's what I'm doing today. I'm going to try this. We're going to see how it goes. I'll show you the ingredients that I'm planning on using, and we're going to go for the best coconut cookie that I can come up with because I'm completely obsessed with coconut right now. Don't know why. It's just the summer. It's OCD, whatever it is. I don't know. It doesn't even matter. But anyway, thank you for dropping in. I appreciate you stopping in. If you if you like the video, make sure that you like and subscribe and let folks know about it. Share it. We love having you. We love seeing you. And in just a moment, we'll come back with some of our ingredients. Flake coconut. And I like to go with the dry coconut because I can do a lot more with it. And I'm planning on even pulsing this in a little food chopper that I've got. Really good. I've got one egg. We're going to go with about 10 tablespoons of butter because I want these to be crispy and the butter makes them crispy. We're going to go with about a cup to a cup and a quarter flour. I'm going to play that by ear. I've got coconut flavoring. I've got baking soda. I have salt. I have sugar, of course. And with that, we're going to make an amazing cookie. I hope you're going to like it. I hope you're going to enjoy it. And I'm going to try it right there live on camera. We'll see how it okay, goes. Okay, so I'm using grandma's bowl and we're gonna do the best we can. That's maybe some good luck, we'll see. So the first thing I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna put in one stick of this butter, and this butter is good and soft. It has been out for the most of the day because I like it nice and soft when I'm working with it. And that is eight tablespoons of butter. And I'm gonna scrape all of that off of this butter paper right there, not too bad. And then Nice, look how smearable that is, it's so pretty. I am gonna go ahead with this other stick of butter. We're at the end of the butter, I gotta go shopping, and I'm gonna put a few more tablespoons in there because really, if you want the secret, what I'm looking for is a crispy cookie, okay? I, I like chewy cookies, like when I'm dealing with chocolate chip and that kind of thing, but when I'm dealing with coconut, I want it to kind of spread out. And the way that you do that, you use more butter, and you use a little more sugar. So my recipe, my regular recipe calls for a half a cup of brown sugar and a half a cup of white sugar. And so I'm doing more. I'm actually gonna do a cup and a third of sugar, which I am gonna cream into this butter. Um, and I'm just gonna do this by hand. I mean, yeah, you can use a mixer if you want to. I just feel like that's a real pain in the neck sometimes. We just want to get them integrated and creamed together really good. It takes just a few minutes to do it. Uh, so I'm going to get those creamed in, then we'll add some of our wet ingredients, and then the final dry ingredients shan't be too long. Cream and butter with sugar. Y'all, I can feel the sexiness happening in this already. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. So in just a moment, I'll come back once we get all this cream to mix together, and we'll go on to our next ingredient. All right, so now to this, I'm going to add about a teaspoon of salt. Okay, that was a half measure, so we should be all right there. And we'll go with a half teaspoon of the baking powder. I don't want it to rise too much because I want these to spread out, not to be so much of a rising cookie, but a cookie that you know kind of goes flat a little bit. I want it to go flat. I want it to get crispy. I want it to be super brown and just perfecto. And we're going to try that. So I'm integrating salt and baking soda. And then we're going to go with one egg, the incredible edible egg right into the dishwasher baby so I shall mash this in now this becomes a lot easier to mix once you have your you know your wet ingredients going in there I, you're gonna find with me I don't do a lot of measuring I probably should I would probably be a better cook if I did but 
Um, I've just kind of gotten intuitive, you know, like I know a tablespoon is like half a ping pong ball and uh, so many things. So you can see this is creaming together really nice once we added some liquid ingredient to it. Now, my original recipe calls for a teaspoon of vanilla. I am going with two teaspoons of coconut extract because I feel like it's going to be amazing. All right, so we're going to mix this. We'll come back together and add the other ingredients, which is shredded coconut and flour, and then we're going to try to make a cookie. All right, so I'm going with my handy dandy shredder. Yes, I have a food processor. It's sometimes just not worth it to get it messed up. And I'm going with a cup of this shredded coconut. And if you've dealt with shredded coconut before, you know these little strands are really long. And what I like to do is kind of chop them up into more you know, bite-sized pieces in my cookies. I mean, I like it long in the pie, but not so much in the cookies. So I'm going with this. And this is three one-third cup measures, dropping that in there. Let me set this aside. Put my lid on there and my handy dandy little chopper, which I like. The dog seems to like it too. And basically all I did was just pulse it a little bit and get it a little finer than what we were looking at before. So not so bad. I'm just gonna set this aside because that will be the very last thing that actually goes into the mix. I'm gonna bring back my bowl and we're gonna do about, and my recipe calls for about a cup and a half of flour. I'm backing off of that a little bit, okay? I'm going with a little more than a cup because the less flour, the less cakey the cookie's gonna be. So uh, yeah, I should probably be spooning this into something and measuring it. I'm going with just a hint over a a cup of flour here and I'm going to just begin to mix this out and it's really gonna be a nice cookie I already have this this, this sneaking suspicion that it's gonna be great so once we integrate all this flour the last thing we'll do is our coconut as a mix in and then we're gonna throw these in a 350 degree oven for about I'm gonna say 17 minutes is what I'm gonna give it because I want them nice and crispy. Usually a regular cookie is 10 to 12 minutes or 12 to 15 minutes, but for me, I'm going with a little longer, 17 minutes, because I want to get them nice and brown. I want them to be sexy, if you know what I mean. You think, oh, this looks really dry. It's gonna come together, trust me. I know this recipe, I know it really well. It's just a matter of getting my mix-ins mixed in. So uh, in just a moment, we'll come back when it's time for mix-ins. All right, so I like to get my, um, my dough spread out as much as I can so that I can get this evenly mixed in. I'm gonna go with my mix-ins. And this, this recipe, I would use this if it was chocolate chip. I'd be adding chocolate chips at this point. I have you know, backed out of some of the flour and added some you know, cocoa powder and made a double chocolate chip I hit at Christmas time I will use an orange extract in that cookie instead of vanilla and then I'll go with cranberries orange zest uh, pecans and white um, chocolate chunks macadamia nuts that kind of thing and make a Christmas cookie that is to die full it is amazing so good and we're gonna scoop these out on a baking sheet momentarily the oven is Heated to 350 degrees, we're good to go. And uh, we'll start looking at the way we scoop these out and we'll see how they bake up. Again, this is an experiment. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. They might stink, but I'm gonna enjoy trying it anyway. So we'll be Okay, back. so I got my little one inch cookie scoop here and I am just scraping the dough off of my spatula. This will make you probably about two dozen cookies, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, depends on how well the dough spreads out. But basically the way we do this, I get myself a scooper of dough, just like so, and then we put it out on the pan. This is the easiest way to make evenly sized cookies when you're making cookies is to use one of these scoopers. You know, yeah, you can roll them by hand, but you're gonna have a little variance when you're doing it that way, because no matter how hard you try, unless you're a robot, your size is going to be a little off from one cookie to the next. And if one of them messes up, just throw it back in the pan. It doesn't really matter very much. I'm going to get this out. We're at least going to get a dozen on this pan. And 
listen, I want them to spread out a little. We're going to see how they do. But um, I'm excited, y'all. Coconut cookies. This is the summer. We are going to develop the perfect coconut cookie recipe. And when we do, I am going to shout it far and wide. It will ring from the belfries. Everybody will be talking about it. So this is one dozen cookies on a cookie sheet. And it's going in the oven. And we'll let you know when we come. Okay. So we made cookies, y'all. And I wish I could tell you that these are the coconut cookies that I'm after. They're not. Now, I am going to tell you this. They're stinkalinking good. Um, amazing. But just not quite the crispy that I'm looking for. You know, there's a, something in my brain. Something in my brain. I just need to go a little more. Just a little more. Just I'm going to do it again. I don't know if I'm going to video it again, but I'm going to do it again. If I get the right recipe, maybe then I'll video it again. But anyway, we're going to try it. Oh, these are very good. I'm not going to lie to you about that. These are really good. They are crispy. They are buttery. The coconut, I ground it up so it's not quite so stringy. The flavor, the coconut flavor is subtle. It's so nice. So you're not going to go wrong with this cookie recipe. It makes a good cookie. But we're going to get better because this is the summer of coconut cookies and I'm going to get them right might be as big as a house when I get done, but we're going to get it right. So, thank you for coming to Pop's Place. Thanks for watching me make cookies because it's just what I was in the mood for. And son-in-law is about to start cooking dinner, so I got to get out of the way. But y'all, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. If you like the video, tell your friends about it. Share the link. Let the love flow. You know what I mean? And we will talk to you soon. Bye for now.